Welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning, Friday, Impromptu. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've been working on, well, I worked on one. <laughs> I got one um, test um, cell phone cover case test done. Uh, with my, you know, that's what I'm going to do with all these little sketches I got here. I got one done and I cut it out and I photographed it on a couple different backgrounds. And I did just print it out on, on photo paper just to show y'all as an example of what they'll look like when they're on a phone case. So here's two of them. So that's two versions of the same fish. Um... A little bit different tweaking done for each one depending on the background but I um, I printed them out on some paper just so you could kind of see what they'd look like I'll just stick one here on the back here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about now I'm gonna put them on society six and it'll fill the whole thing um, it'll fill the whole thing have the you know it's gonna be on an actual case right it'll be on a case um, but I did a couple samples I just printed them out to um to show you um kind of where i'm going with them and i just did the one koi and now i'm going to do i think i'm going to do this one to do axolotti is that how you say it somebody pronounced it for me <laughs> i mean axolotti in space that's gonna look really cool i think but i'm also printing them out on some of my backgrounds you know these other backgrounds that i did right so that's what the, you know, this is like, I've got a whole bunch of backgrounds here to put them on and print them out. And then I go into Procreate and do a little tweaking. Like if there's a smudge star or if one of the fins is not cut good, cut well, then I can go in and, and fix it. I'll try to show you that if I have time today. I'll go in and, and try to get the light to work on the iPad and show you how to do that. <coughs> if we get get a chance thanks guys so yeah so that's what i did the, the koi on the, you know that i had print i mean i had sketched out and then i did it in color pencil and whatnot and then cut it out and then photographed it and i know you can do all this stuff digitally i know i could do all this you know without even draw, picking up a pencil right or a paintbrush but it's not fun for the fun part for me is the drawing the painting the inking and all that right so that's why I do it the long way yeah so Zeely, yeah so I like to you know I like the to do yeah I mean the digi stuff's fun you know but it's not my you know my main thing and so, anyway, so I'm going to work on a couple of these. We'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to zoom in and readjust the light here. Let's see here. That's pretty That's pretty good. Might be a little flashed out. But I do have my blinds open. I'm not sitting here in the dark. I'll just turn it down on its notch. Hopefully that's good. And, uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to get my sketch pad behind this, though just to have something you know i can't draw on this this is crusty crusty <laughs> i'm gonna put a new piece of paper on my desk so anyway i thought i'd work on him first and um yeah yeah <laughs> and uh i got my pencils here let me move my little koi some pencils and some poscas and whatever else i might need I hope that it's not blocking the light a little bit. <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, that's kind of the plan. There was something else I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. Um, what was it? i got to think a minute. I rushed in here, chatted for, uh, chatted for 20 minutes, and then forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh, I was going to try to show you some of my other, hang on, let's see if I can make the light work for me, um, some of the other koi's. So, um, this is the, let's see if it'll show up. So, there's the one, there, that's this one here. It's on the purple, blue, orange, right? Then I had, this is the space one. 
couple of versions of the space one. And then this one is on blue and orange. I haven't printed this out. And then this one is on blue and a purpley. It's a different color background. So I have different color backgrounds. See the difference? And then I have three versions of the space one and then the purple one. No, he's not bow-legged. He's floating. <laughs> it's a water animal. It's a water animal, so <laughs> it's floating. <laughs> floating. And if I cut him out and put him in space, <laughs> you like it that way? And I cut him out and put him in outer space, I think he's going to look really cool. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm going to need black, white, um, probably some, maybe a little bit of yellow and orange on this underbelly. Some, uh, let's see, here's black. I need a pink or two, pink and maybe a magenta. Here's a magenta. And it has some, I want it to have some blue. And it's got these little feelers in it. So here's the thing about the little feelers. That's not the blue I want. <clears throat> The little, um, the little f hairs, if you will, it has little hairs on its extremities. <laughs> and so if I can't do that, I mean, I can do it and cut it out, be really, you know, kind of tricky. But what I'll do is I'll probably put some, let me see, let me, uh, let me get my light a little brighter here. Got a little dark again, even though it's tricky business here, people, tricky business. There we go. Um, the little feelers, I can do that in Procreate, and I don't know if I'll have time to show you. We'll try. We'll try to take it from this step all the way through. Put a cowboy hat on. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me sharpen these. I got my little sharpening bowl right here. Let me sharpen these up real quick, and we'll try to take it through the through its paces. We'll take Axolotti, Axolotti, <laughs> do re me, <laughs> Axolotti, <laughs> through his little paces, and so you can, can see them completed. If we get time, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> put a cow, space cowboy. Well, the thing about that, if I put a hat on him, He'd have to have these feeler things come, because that's part of his character, right? He'd have to have those coming out from behind the hat or something. Okay, so. All right, so let's start with a little bit of blue. Whoops, I got shavings all over here. I want a little bit of blue on his... I don't know why I keep... I guess it's okay. Uh, the sun's going coming in and out. Uh, it's not very close. Is that better? I want the little hairs to be blue. Or the tips of his little... And, and here's another thing, too. I'm, I am style. I mean, I'm not necessarily trying to... Okay, where I wrote his name is in my way. <laughs> it's in his little... Um, I, I want to make them, you know, either... I can make it my own colors. It doesn't have to be that realistic, you know. But, I mean, I this is probably if, you know... Of course, you know, I'm going to have my own favorites. But if I probably have my favorite to buy personally it's probably gonna be this one that's just me uh the blue and orange ones are pretty okay i like i'm gonna use pink and blues and um yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes and let's see so that people don't freak out that there's no eyeballs. <laughs> Are you going to upload them as you get? No, I'm going to do them all at once. Well, at least I want at least nine. I, I at least want nine or ten. 
I think I have, how many do I have here? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got 24 sketches. I think I counted them all. I have 24 sketches. I think I'll use a Posca for his little highlight in his eye. Let that sit for a minute. Let it dry. Um... So I want, you know, I want at least 9, 10, 12 to, put, to start. Plus, I wanted to do my poster ones, too. <laughs> Chaps, spurs, riding a seahorse. <laughs> That's all good. If I was going to do a full poster, Zeely, that would be good. A whole poster of that would be nice. But these are tiny. You know, if I was going to do, you know, cause I, like my... Um, uh, peace sloth. You know how big that poster is. If I want all that detail, I have to do it much bigger. Right? <laughs> I'll have to do it way bigger to do um, Let's see. I need a better. I need a smaller. Where's my electric? Is? I gotta erase some of my sketch here. then that would be good. I would like, that would be a cute idea. Put them on a, put them on a seahorse. <laughs> that would be good. I like it. little hands here <laughs> let's see Get my sharp pupils here. Let me do a test. Or maybe y'all are just waking up. <laughs> Not very chatty. Um, <clears throat> but I probably could. Let me see if I can erase some of this my sketch. Because I want it to be nice sharp. Uh, little, little, uh, what do you call those things? You know, feelers, little, little feelers coming off his head. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and start shaping up his face here. I think they're cute little creatures. <laughs> Trying to wake up, yeah, and more coffee. We get up really early. This is this is, you know. I'm awake by this time usually. I'm usually running around. Sometimes I'm running around trying to catch up on stuff, but I'm usually awake by this time. That one's kind of have that one a little behind like that. They have like they look like they have little smiles. <laughs> And that right there, I think I need to, um, I'll probably make his face a little thinner over here if I cut him out. That's a little fat.
and I want them to be kind of a little, you know, colorful. I want them to have a little color to them. Where's my pink? Did I not pull out the pink? ASR, ASMR moment. I'll do maybe more pink. Let's see. I don't know if this is something that's interesting to anybody, <laughs> but it's what I'm working on today. And am I zoomed in enough that you can see? I think Janet did another, uh, did you do another haul? Or am I just thinking of Colleen, Janet? I know you redid your haul, but did you go back again to Hobby Lobby and get you some more stuff? <laughs> I mean, it's so tempting, isn't it? I went after I saw Sherry. I'll have to show y'all that. I don't think I showed it since I hit record. Sherry, I think it was Sherry Pink. Somebody was talking about uh, the large uh, jars of paint. And I said, I don't remember seeing those. So I went back and got. Because I haven't ever used this, so I didn't know if it was going to be too shiny that it wouldn't work with my pencils and stuff. But I got three of these. These are the Fine Touch, which is the Hobby Lobby brand acrylic paints. They're normally seven dollars for a dollar seventy-five. I haven't. It says Easy Pour. I mean, I guess it's a flip top. I haven't done anything with them except shake them up. Eileen would kill you. <laughs> So I just, and they had about eight colors. I just got pink, black, and this dark teal. They also had a light teal. And I just got three of them. And they're 16, oh, almost 17 fluid ounces, 16.9. And they were only $1.75, so I figured if nothing else, they'll be, you can be used for base coating something. <laughs> so, yeah. So I got those. All right, let's see. I want a little bit of highlight around the tops of his eyes here. Make him look really wide-eyed. Because he's so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of what my idea is for the little feeler hairs. Is Well, wait, let me finish, let me finish here because I'll... Feeler hairs have to be on top. Because I'm going to cut them out, right? And I, I don't want to have to do too much uh, fiddling in uh, digital. That's right. Okay, that's what it was. I saw that, uh, Janet. Janet opened a box that I... I thought you got some more stuff. She got it from Eileen. <laughs> Eileen's always said, don't be buying anything else. Don't be buying anything else. And what happens? She sends her a box of stuff to open. <laughs> That's right, Janet. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can you all hear that crow out there? I don't have the window open, but I can still hear it there.
So I don't know if this is going to work. If it messes up, I'll take it out in the in digital. <laughs> but they have these little feeler hairs. So I'm thinking I might even should probably I'm going to go ahead and put them on here. But th this is going to be tricky to really cut out. You know what I mean, Vern? I might have to put these in um, when I go into Procreate. That's just what I use. I, I have I have the Paint Shop and Photo. I have um, Photoshop Elements, but I don't. I just don't. I don't have time to really learn all that very much. I mean, I do a little bit in Procreate. That's probably about it. Uh, cause I just I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'll show you. I'll do. I'll try to. We'll try to do some. Just to show you if I can get the iPad to focus on the camera. <clears throat> well, I don't think she's here, is she, Eileen? Should I say it? Eileen said, I mean, uh, Janet said Eileen is so sweet, but I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> but she is. She loves you. She loves you, Janet. I watched the YouTube video last night, and your hubby was even last. <laughs> yeah, I know. Janet and Eileen are hilarious when they get 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 to on, get on a roll. So here's what I'm talking about. See those little hairs. <laughs> That little face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I'll need to line this up a little bit more. <laughs> it's mutual. Yeah, I know. I know. And, uh, and everybody that knows y'all know y'all are kidding with each other. You know. Can y'all see okay? Do I need to change the lighting or are we good? So anyway, that this is kind of... Now tomorrow, you know, I'll probably be... I'm probably going to take Boo out tomorrow if she comes down, bring the cats. We'll probably grill out, so I don't know how much artwork I'll get done tomorrow. Um... But I did want to get crack a lacking on these because I've been saying for three years, three years I've been threatening to put these things up on Society Six. You know, starting with my posters. <laughs> three years, people. Okay, let's see here. A little bit of. My best to do that with pencil. And you saw how how far that's gone. Isn't he cute? Lion's good, thank you. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get that too dark. I just want a little bit of...
want to keep him very light and translucent, especially if he's going to be in space. I want to put him in space at least once. All right, needs a little bit of blue, light, light. Maybe if I can get this in here. I want him to have a little highlight in down there. Maybe I need a little bit darker, but let's go with one shade darker. Hey, Nisha, they made you put your XO back. <laughs> So we get a chance, I'll try to test those paints too and see um, you know what kind of how what kind of sheen they have to them. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh well, maybe it needs a little bit more lightness on the top of his head. Let's brighten that up a little. Yeah, that's better. I'll smear it out a little. <clears throat> hey, Jean. Oh, you didn't. Well, I'm glad you got some sleep. All right, let's see. Sharpen my white here. I'm just working on these, uh, my phone case ideas. And if y'all are just joining me, I'll show you my sample ones. I just printed out on photo paper a couple of, uh, hang on, let me use this other side here. Get this white nice and sharp. Come on. Here's the two that I printed out on photo paper so you can kind of see what I did with the koi, the koi fish. All right, let's see. I did finish watching your frog uh, Jean. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I hope you're getting good news on that too, Jean. I gotta do this white first. Thanks. Thanks, sassy pants. So we'll see. I've been threatening to do this for three years at least. I 
them to have a nice translucent little body here. And um, I was going to show too, Jean, if I, you know, we'll see, well, I should have time to at least get that much done. Go into uh, Procreate and Tweak Him. Show you how I can, you know, do that on a, uh, on the iPad. I think I want to give him a belly button. I don't know if they have belly buttons, but I think I want to have him have a belly button. Belly buttons are good. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't want it too... I don't want to make it too... Let's knock that back a little. <laughs> it's getting too much belly going on there. <laughs> and remember, I'm cutting them out. Kimberly. Uh. It's not right on his neck there. His arm needs to come out from there. Huh. Oh, let me fix my eraser. This one probably needs to be a, so I can flip it over there. Dude, are you just doing phone? Um, for, you know, I can put them as prints or whatever I want, but we'll see. My plan first is to get them as phone cases. Then we'll see, you know. I want to, because I'm just looking at, that's why I'm doing them kind of long and tall, you know, kind of like the, well, here's the koi. See, here's where I cut them out. And they're like translucent, so I'm trying to make, you know, keep them like blue and pink. Hey, Eileen. 
Were your ears burning? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Eileen, I might be doing a little digi today. You'll be uh, you'll be impressed. Well, you won't be impressed. <laughs> Eileen does digi, so she knows. But anyway, I'm gonna I might go into procreate a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. So I'm working on these little phone cases, hopefully, soon. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is I'll make sure and sharpen. I'm going to sharpen his little hands up here in a minute with the uh, Posca. He might be a little fat on that side. That's better. <laughs> Just a little bit in procreate. Nothing fancy, Eileen. I mean, technically, if I really wanted to get down to it, I'd go into, you know, my Photoshop elements, but procreate's easy on the iPad <laughs> with the pen, you know. And I don't really do a lot. I think all I did on, uh, what I did on him uh, in Photoshop was because, here, look. Here's an example. See when I cut the tail fins out? See how they're blunt? See how they're blunt? I mean, I could have been even more careful cutting it out and made it nice and sharp and everything. But you see how it's kind of blunt? Well, here I was able to take and fly those out see see i could flick those out and fly them out a little bit longer same for his whiskers <clears throat> i could drag his whiskers and then the other thing i could do was go in here and tweak the stars i could uh fuzz up uh, make a few extra fuzzy ones in the background. See, like that, that, that. That's just touching it with the airbrush tool. See, I can make a few extra fuzzy stars. Smooth out some of the paint. I didn't, I left this, I left the this part, the blue. I left all that very pencil-y. You can see, if you look real close, you can see the pencil in that. And I like that. I didn't want to get rid of all the pencil marks. Um... So that's the kind of things you can do. And that's, you know, I didn't I didn't go in here and add any colors or anything. I, that's all the same. But I flicked out the white. So I'll show you when we get to him. We'll go in there and do something just for the sake of doing it, you know. And I was saying earlier before you got here, Ali, I know people will say, well, why don't you just go ahead and do the whole thing digitally? Well, you could, but this is fun for me. This is what I enjoy. I like the penciling. I like the hand-drawn. You know, I, this is this is what I like. I like doing the backgrounds, the inky backgrounds. This right here, this background is off of here. Here. So I cut them all out, and I put them on my painted background here like this, see, and photographed that. I know it's a little flashed out. Photographed him there, and then I also photographed him on a couple of the, you know, colored ones here, the inky backgrounds. And I know you can do all that in Photoshop or digitally, you know. But this is the this is what the fun part for me. 
The little guy's cute. Hi, Scoobs. Yeah, he's an axolotl. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And he's th this is one of the animals that I want to put on a phone case. And, you know, I'll see what else I can, you know, put them on a lot of things. You can put them on anything you want almost. But um, the phone case is where my initial goal these that I drew out, I counted them. I, what I said, I think I have 24 sketched out here. <clears throat> How you doing, Scoobs? But if you want to kind of, I think it's fairly easy. Do you ever use Procreate, Eileen? Have you ever used Procreate app? Or, yeah, I use it on the iPad, so yeah, app. He looks a little messy, but I'm going to cut him out and he'll be nice and crisp. Yeah, no, the, the, you can put them on any size. I mean, you can uh, tell, you can specify what any kind of phone that you want it on. I mean, I'll, you know, they, they're not, phones aren't that different that they, you know, you can't adjust it to make, make it fit. Hey, Kmore, Karen, you haven't? Okay, well, I'm going to try to, we'll see here if it shows up on camera. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. I guess I should turn off my... I, I usually turn off all my device. Uh, I'm somehow connected something on Twitter on a conversation. And that's why I'm getting that. Okay, so there's a start for a base. Now let's see. A little more blue to him. He's got I have little fingernails and all. That's still not right on his neck there. This needs to be more. It looks funny. I don't know quite what. No, that's not right either. It's going to have to be darker. His little arms kind <clears> of <throat> toward the front, but it's not growing out of his neck. So I'm going to have to push that back. Yeah, you really can. You can put a pro you can put your designs on anything. <clears throat> so true, Janet. Ouch. And he's going to be, this one, I want to make sure I put him in space. He's an underwater creature. think is he coming along okay now I want to make sure he has his fingernails and toenails I haven't seen her checkbook what kind of checkbook does Xandra have checkbook cover you mean
and again, I don't know if they have belly buttons, but he's got one. <laughs> A sea monkey. She has a sea monkey checkbook. I was th I would have thought she would have had a mer uh, mermaid checkbook cover. I don't use a checkbook, so I don't know. Hubster has a checkbook cover. I don't use a checkbook cover. He's my card. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Susie Q. Or Su Sudie Q. Oh, oh, it's hoping I would do this. Oh, <laughs> I'm not doing a mermaid. Do I need to do a mermaid for Xandra? One with lots of zeros and commas. <laughs> ah, Janet. Uh, love, we were talking about the stuff that you sent, Janet, uh, Eileen. That was awesome. That was awesome. You're, you're so sweet. But nobody wants to tell you that because they just don't want to admit it. <laughs> right, Janet? <laughs> Oh my gosh. We'll see what he looks like when I cut him out. I don't know. It might need a little bit light, lighter up under his chin. I got it a little dark. Memphis, they didn't put an Elvis record in the box. Yeah, he, he looks like a little alien. Yeah, I, I'm, I must have missed something there, Eileen. An Elvis in the box? Let's lighten up his little face there. Let's do a little more blend. <clears throat> yeah, Janet finally got her joggles box from Eileen and it was it, it it was a little bit rough. Everything seemed to have made it, but it was a little beat up, wasn't it? How long? <laughs> it took a while too, didn't it? Eileen was ready to go down to the post office and have words. Yeah. Oh, it was in Memphis that it got stuck. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't know where. Okay. I got you now. Got it. Got it. Uh, now I see the Elvis connection. <laughs> 
Did they say why, or did you did they not give you any information as to what happened? I know three weeks, right? Wait till you see this little guy in space. It's gonna look cute. I have confidence. I have confidence it's gonna look cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of blending everything out real nice. Might need a little more pink right here. They put a tag on the box for Janet. <laughs> what did it say? Sorry, Janet. Eileen got a hold of us and we're in big trouble. <laughs> Is that what it said? Looked to me like it was an equipment jam, but Eileen might have caused it because that's the powerful, because that's how powerful she is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm ready to cut them out. I don't want to hurry them, but, you know, I, I do want to get crack a lacking. Okay, so again, some of these little uh, feelers, I'm going to probably just go ahead and cut, like, right around the feelers, the little hairs, if you will. And then in Procreate, I'll take, because I'm going to put start by putting them in space. And I'll just put black in between each one. I'm going to try that anyway. That's that's the plan cuz when you when you cut something out um you know, you can't really cut it. Well, I guess you could. Technically it's possible. I don't mean that, but Okay, let's cut this baby, let's cut this bad boy out. Where's my scissors? <laughs> I guess I won't be going doing much until I find my scissors. But I usually are right there, and I don't have them right there. Ah, there they are. Okay, you like watching me create? Going to from a plain piece of paper to create. Aw, thanks, Chatty Natty. The look on his face like he said something. <laughs> He's going to sit on a star. Okay. I want to make sure I keep my name there because if somebody spelled it out or spelled out the pronunciation for me. <laughs> All right. So let me just go ahead and, you know, get around close to and then I'll fussy cut them out. Just get rid of the excess paper. It's a little easier. Let's see what we can do here. All right. It's going to be a few steps, and I haven't tested my steps out on, uh, on our show, so we'll see. Here, let's zoom out a little. There we go. Let's get the lighting back. Let's adjust again. Don't 
don't want to get it too dark, but I don't want it too flashed out either. Okay, that's pretty good. Just don't make me spell it, yeah. <laughs> Is that okay, guys? I don't know. He's a little... Okay, let's just go ahead and cut. So I'm going to fussy cut for a minute. And again, I'm going to just cut, I'm going to leave the, some of the brown paper where the little um, feelers are. And we'll see if I can fix that in, in uh, Procreate. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to just erase them all and, and do them in white. I'm going to try to put the black in there. But if I put them on another color, I'll probably have to erase all the... In digital, I'll erase all those white hairs and then redraw them in. Let's see. Now remember, I'm no digi pro. Eileen could probably show me five ways a Sunday how to do it better. But one of these days, I'll t take the time to learn it. Learn it well, I should say not just dilly-dally or play around in it. They're, they're crazy creatures? You just Googled them? Let's kind of just get around his hand here for a second. Little home. I'm sure everybody can hear that. taking my time. I want this to be good, even though it might take a little minute. I'm going to just kind of go around the feet here, and then I'll cut in. God, I got light, didn't it? I don't know what happened. It is sunny. But I thought I'd show you one just so you can see the process. And I don't know, I could see what I could do, you know, where I place him on the outer space drawing. But one of the nice things about doing it this way is I can reuse my backgrounds. And Eileen knows about that, the backgrounds. Okay, let's clean this up a little. Let's move this a minute. All right, so now I'm going to cut in between his fingers. That's what it's look like when you wake up in the morning. Good one. <laughs> Good one, Karen. <laughs> uh, look, they look like mine. I look good. You know, good. I don't, do they have belly buttons? Mine has a belly button. <laughs> Get to snip that little bit there. I doubt they have belly buttons, but it's too cute not to put one, especially if it's going to be floating in space, guys. I'm telling you, you'll see. I have a vision here, people. <laughs> so there's one hand. 
I have a vision here. <laughs> Now you do more with backgrounds and get tons more. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, Digi's awesome, people. It really is. If I, I, you know, if I had one thing I would like to learn well, you know, like y'all, y'all know, I spend my 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 uh, rule usually in not necessarily on purpose. It just seems to be that way. If I want to learn something, I spend four years on it. So I don't know if I want to spend four years on Digi at this point in my life. You know. That's the only thing. I'd love to learn it well, but, you know, and it probably wouldn't take four years. Not, I mean, I'm, I don't want to be a master digi artist. I mean, I, that would be nice, but you have to spend, you know, you have to, you have to pick and choose what you want to spend your time on. I like, I like hand drawing things, you know, I like the feel of pencils and pens and markers and paint. So, you know, that's my priority. But it is awesome to be able to do it. Okay. Now, watch when he goes in space. Except, I'm going to, all these little hairs, they're going to be individual. So the background behind those hairs is going to be black. I mean, I don't know if it would be easier for me just to cut that off and hand... It might be. I think it'd probably be easier for me to put white hairs on the black space than to go in between the black with black. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut these hairs at least down, give them a shave. I'm going to give these hairs a shave, and then I'll probably use the white pen tool or, you know, paint the, paint the white hairs in rather than trying to go in between them with black. What do you think, Eileen? Do you think that'd be easier? Paint the individual white hairs rather than go in between it? I'm thinking so. So, we're going to go with that method. <laughs> we're going to go with that method. If there is a method <laughs> to the madness. Okay. Be easier to draw them than to paint in between. Yeah. Cut them off and yeah. <laughs> I think so too, Jean. Okay. So now, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. I think I like him right there. Yeah, just a minute. He's calling me. I'll leave him here for a second. <laughs> I got to take a picture of him. Hang on. Let me go get some coffee, too. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, sorry guys. He's bringing in groceries and he goes, I'll put them away. I said, well, just put the stuff in the refrigerator. I'll put everything else away. Then I made coffee because I was out of coffee, so I have to go back down and get my coffee. Okay, so let me flatten them out a little. I, a little bit of dimension, like a little bit of their feet sticking up or something. It's kind of cool, actually. All right, so let me check on chat. Hi, Deb Deer. Who else popped in? So let me catch my breath and position him. Do I want that shine right by his foot? kind of do I kind of like it right there except that right there I don't like that it's gonna I'll have to remove that cause it's gonna look like a wart so I'll have to get rid of that little thing in, in there all right so now I'm gonna take a picture Where's, okay. I'm gonna take a picture hang on I'm out of breath I was running outside back in back out okay all right so let me move it down here because I have to Get here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Now let me crop it and stuff, and then I gotta send it. I gotta send it to. I know it's on cloud, but I don't know if it's gonna go automatically. So I'm gonna send it to the iPad because that's where I do the. I gotta go get my. I don't think I have my pen tool in here. Hang on. I don't want to rush. I just want to enjoy the process. So let's see here. Let me crop it so it's less. I'm cropping off some of the edges because I want it to be that shape. You know, like a phone case shape. So I got to get rid of some of the edges there. Of course, I can always readjust that too. Is that going to be a good shape? Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Okay. How old? Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know how old he is. <laughs> I just saw how old is and I that's all I saw Kmore and you were talking to Galena okay let me uh, let me forward this to my iPad hang on guys <laughs> all right um, let me mail it and you know even if if I, I play with it here. It may not be my final version, but we'll we'll go with it. I mean, to, to so you can kind of test it. I mean, so you can see what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Okay. So this we'll just. But again, see now I can take him. I could have put him over here. On this one, he could be holding that star. See, there's another. Well, I'd have to black out my whole name there, but you know, you see. I can put like this. I can have another star on his head. And remember, I'm going to put white hairs. Um, it looks like he's sitting on the swirly thing. So, you know, but look. See, you can you can pick different backgrounds. And I know it's flashing out because of the sun. Oh, now he might look good on this. Now, no, he kind of gets lost in the pink and purple. I'm still thinking that the sun is going to be the best. I mean, the outer space is going to be the best. Well, we're going to we're going to roll with that one for now anyway. Okay? <laughs> so, I have our little buddy here. All right, so let me make sure my mail came through. Hang on. Um, mail. And then I'll see about readjusting the light on the camera so you can see me do whatever. There it is. Okay. All right. I want to save that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is try. Hang on. Let me get this zoomed in here. Hang on. Let me find my Procreate. This is what the Procreate. It looks like that. That little swirly. Okay. So now let's. Ah. Uh, I don't know about the camera. Let's see here. 
All right, let me try. Let's work in a minute. Hang on. Ah, oh, see the reflection? Let me see if I can block out some sun. I don't know if that's going to help or not. Oh, uh, I'd have to, maybe if I tilt it now, then you see me. Maybe if I move over just a little. So you're going to see the camera. All right, so let's readjust the light. Hang on. Hang on, guys. I got it. I'm not used to doing this on, you know, I don't have a share screen for this, so. Okay. Hey, cat. All right, so now let me get my camera. Uh, right light. Nope, that's not what I need. Not going to want that. Hmm. Let's see, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. We'll see. Let me go to the advanced settings. Turn the brightness down. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen here. No, oh, that's not what I want either. Hang on. Jeez. Jeez. Come on. Go back to my gallery. Okay. Is it adjusting? I have it on auto, so I'm hoping it'll auto adjust. Oh, auto focus too. Hang on, guys. I'm trying. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. So I'm going to go to. Um, oh, I got to get my pen. Eee, hang on. And there's other ones. I'll start by saying this. This iPad's old. Sorry, I need my coffee. This is like second generation iPad. And so it won't, I can't use the newer kind of sharper pointy pins to you to it. I wonder if you stream from your pad. Um, I don't think I can on this iPad, Gene. Uh, Gene, I, I think this might be too old. This is second generation iPad. I can't even use the new Sharpie pointy pens. Okay, we're going to roll with this. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to import an image from my photos, from my camera roll. No, I want it from my... Well, that's good. Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm going to import him. All right. So, oh, see, it's not showing up. All right. Let's try to readjust the light again. I don't know, guys. I'm not thinking we're going to be able to, that this is going to work. Um, let me see if I bring it up. Maybe. See, it's not, it's not going to focus. Hang on. If I tilt it just a little, but I can't hold, I can't work that way. See, I'm holding it up. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, I so wanted to show y'all, but let me see if I can manually do anything. It's not showing the colors or nothing unless I tilt it, see? I mean, that's the best I can do, and that's if I tilt it. Can y'all see if I tilt it? It's not going to go directly. You know, I mean, I can't lay it flat. It won't let me lay it flat. See, I can't do that. I have to tilt it. So let me see if I can find something to prop it up here. Hang on. Oh, I lost the light again. Well, it's sort of there. All right, let's try again. 
every time I move something. Say it's nope. Let me go back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying my best, guys. It's tricky business trying to do this on camera, you know? All right. Maybe that'll work. We'll try. All right. Now, there's a screen protector you can put. Yeah, I don't have all that, though. <laughs> Not, I don't do this often enough to, you know, do all that. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I want to put those little hairs on there. So you may not be able to see the tools up here, but I'm going to select the pen tool here. Come on. What's the deal? Yeah, there it goes. It's going to be kind of slow. I'm... Okay, so I'm going to draw, make the line really thin. See, look right here. There's a, there's a line, there's... Say, see how I can change the, the slider? So I want the line real thin. Okay, I want the line real thin. And I already have white selected. Up here you can select all kinds of colors. Okay, I want white because I want those little hairs really bright. So I'm going to zoom in really far. Okay, are y'all with me so far? <laughs> And I'm going to start drawing little lines, little hairs. And I'm testing it out, and it may not be, it's not quite thick enough, I don't think. Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell because it pixelates when you get it really up there. I think I'm going to make my line just the tiniest bit bigger, just a little bit. And I'm going to flick all these hairs out now. Are y'all seeing this? Okay, so right there, there's some black, a white star. If that white star is in my way, so I'm going to go over here and go to black. Come on. And I'm going to get rid of that star right there. Because it's in my way. Like this one's probably going to be in my way. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to, to white. Oh, come on. And flick out some more little hairs. Are you all able to see? You can see? Oh, good. Good. Thanks, Jean. And I can always go back in there in between if some of them are, you know, if I need black in between. And I'll show you the airbrush tool too. That one's cool. Okay, so there we go. That may be enough. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more. I'll highlight it. Make if I put a few thicker ones right along the edge. All right. Can y'all see that? And see, I can turn it any way that's easiest for me to work on it. Okay. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Okay, and this is an older version. I mean, my iPad's, like I said, I think it's second generation. And, and you can get the pointy tools, too. The pointy pens, you know, you can, there's there's lots better stuff. Trust me. This is practically, ask Jean. This is for Eileen. This is practically old school. But Procreate is awesome. Procreate is easy, guys. If you want to play with an app, now, I couldn't do anything like this on my phone. My eye, you know, it's too tiny for me. The iPad is as many as I, or, you know, a smaller iPad would be okay. But um, 
I can't do anything that tiny. You know, like Cam, he can do stuff like this on his phone. You know, it's a great demo. Thanks, G. <laughs> I'm trying now that I got the lighting to kind of go for us. Um, there's, there's just so much better tools, you know. But Procreate is a great, I mean, it's my favorite app to do this kind of stuff. The real pen like one only work on the iPad Pro. Uh, yeah, 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 you have to have the iPad Pro for the other pen. Exactly, Jean. This is an old iPad, so, you know. Before they had the pointy pens. But this works fine because I selected... It's only doing, it doesn't matter how, see, this is like one of those rounded, you know, soft, you know. Um, but I selected the thin, the thin line. So it's giving me whatever the line width I want. So, yeah, I'm glad I did it this way, Eileen black you know cut along the edge rather than trying to put black in I'm doing the white out you know you could do it either way but I think this was the easiest way so can y'all see that <laughs> this little fuzzy fuzzy heads <clears throat> oh thanks Jeannie that makes me feel good So I'm just going to put a little extra fuzz right along the edge. Just kind of tap it. And again, I want to show you all the airbrush tool. If it'll show up, we'll see. Because this is, it's, even though it's pretty clear here, it's not as clear as I'm seeing it in person. You know, it's not, it's still pretty good though. But it was hit or missed on my camera settings. I just kept playing with them until I got something that showed it, you know. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? And you can select. I'll show you some of the tools you can select as, when, as we go. There's so many cool tools that you can select. Pins paint brushes airbrush you can make and i've made a couple my own brush stamps my own stamps so like i think i have um oh it's been so long since i looked at them i don't even know what i named them but you can make your own uh designs your own designs that you can just stamp 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 like you, if you wanted um uh sky clouds you can make your own clouds I think choosing one of your phone covers is going to be very difficult. Oh, oh, thanks, Scoobs. It'll it'll probably be a you know, I don't know. It's going to be a some weeks, probably a couple weeks anyway, depending on how much time I you know do spend on them. On because I want at least nine to twelve items to put on it before I open it up. I don't want to just go in there with one thing at a time. I don't want to open my Society 6 with one thing, you know. I want to put at least at least 9, 10, 12 things up. So. But can y'all see how cool that is? So look. See, can you see the difference there? See, look at the hairy little horn. <laughs> he has a hairy little horn. <laughs> What does the app look, uh, app look like? It's a it's a swirl. I'll show you in a minute. I don't want to get out of this because it's going to change the light. If I leave, it's going to change the light. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it was hard enough getting this, so I'll show you the app. It's Procreate, and it looks like a swirl. It looks like a almost like a curvy raindrop with rainbow colors in it. It's fun. It really is. He's a cutie pie. Thanks, Suze. So.
and I'm kind of overlapping some of the hairs so they look more hairy. <laughs> he looks cold. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sure I could probably do a, I could probably stream from my iPad. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I say that, Gene. I don't know if this iPad would support it. It's, you know, I don't know if that would support it. Probably need updates, and, you know, I can't do that, you know, on this one. Bye, Scoops. Okay, thank you. Thanks for stopping in. And see any of these stars or anything like that right there. There's a black, there's a white paint splat right there. And I may not want that there. So I can just go over here and go to black. And I can uh, just get rid of that, that splotch, see? And if this one's too close, I'll just get rid of that star, make that one smaller. Actually, haven't updated the app. They actually haven't updated the app for your new OS. You mean um, Apple has it? You haven't? I haven't. I can't. I don't think I can update mine. Okay, so that star. I'm going to have to make this star shine probably come up this way um, more. Let's see here. And if you don't like it, like that might be too thick, I can come over here. There's a little arrow over here. You can't see where I'm at, but I can erase it. Did y'all see that? Look. I can just, oh, it'll back it, you see? So this may be a little thick. I might have to go thinner on that. See, it's too thick. Because I have it a, a little thicker for these hairs. Isn't he cute? <laughs> The Procreate app is only $9.99. Yeah. I didn't remember what it was. I've had it for years. I've had it since I got this iPad, so I don't know. I didn't remember how much it was. It's totally worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> He needs an umbilical cord. Oh, maybe Kay Moore. That's a good idea. I don't know. We'll test it because we can We can just, you know, we can back it out. So, I mean, we can erase it, right? So, we can play with this little poor little guy. <laughs> we can give him whatever we want. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about Digi for sure is all that you can play and do all kinds of stuff and just erase it. But this, to me, is not as tactile and as fun. I mean, it's look how handy this is. See how handy this is to do this? But it's not. It's just not as fun to me with pencils and shading, you know? Okay, so there we go. We got all his feelers done. But let's just put a belly button. Let's put, okay, so it's going to have to come over this way. I don't want him looking like he's holding his umbilical cord. Maybe if we put it in this hand, but I think, I think you're right. It needs to come around like to this star over here. So let's just say it came like that. And we can make it thicker here. Let's make it, let's bring the line up thicker. Okay, so now let me erase that one and make it thicker. 
No, that's too thick, isn't it? That's that's almost as thick as his leg. Let's, let's make it a little thinner. Let's slide that slide down. Okay, let's see. But does that look stupid, guys? I don't know. But see, it's not now it's not quite thick enough. Let's make it a little just a tiny bit thicker. Okay. What do y'all think? Yeah, I have a I have Photoshop Elements, Jean. Yeah, yeah, I have Elements too. But it, this is so handy, you know. I mean, I'm just the tools. Everything's just so easy with a pen. You know, I don't have a you know I don't have a touch you know like a Cintiq type situation on my laptop, so I can do some of this in Photoshop Elements, but it's not the same. It's still too thin. Okay, let's make it. <laughs> all right. We'll make it. A, but I didn't want it as thick as I had it. Maybe that. Uh-oh, what did I do here? I miss. I hit something. Okay, somehow I got onto airbrush or something. What did I hit? I hit something. Oh, my opacity. Hang on, I got to slide my opacity back up. There's a little over, you can't see it over here, but on the sidebar, there's an opacity tool. Oh, that's too big. Wait a minute. Um, maybe I'll make it a little less opacity. So let's see. There we go. How's that? Is that better? It needs to be more twisty. I don't want it to look like a coil. Okay, well, let me see here. Let's do a little. What about that? Is that better? Yeah, you want to do, yeah, you have to have your tablet for your computer do stuff like that. Exactly, Jean. How about that? Do you all like that? That is kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool, Karen. But, I mean, I can always go back and change it, right? Let me say, let me save this layer here. Let me save this. Um, uh, hey, look, the girls tell me to give him a, an umbilical cord. <laughs> <laughs> cute. Uh -huh. I like that little thing. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> what's Sherry, what's Sherry say? Um. You don't like it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and, well, nah, I'll, just, I'll just save it. Uh, we'll go with it. Okay, so now, um, all right, so for instance, this star is right down by his foot, and I think it's a little, it, it needs to be moved just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid, I'm going to have to go back to a smaller pen here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and just get rid of that star right there. Because it's in between his toes. All right, so here's one of the nice things. See how I'm doing this going in between his toes? That's what I was going to have to do to go in between each of his little hairs there. If I was going to, you know, keep the ones I had. A spaceship in the background. So now I'm going to sharpen. Let's come down here. Get rid of some of these marks here. Clean up this. I'm going to clean space up here. I'm going to clean it up just a little. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I can come in here and like sharpen his toes, toenails. Like there's a star right there. I can get that one a little. Do you see though what you can do with, with it? And I mean, I literally can see every single pixel. So I can get his toenails. See, this is what I did on the, um, this is what I did on the um, koi fish. The koi fish, I didn't cut it out. His fins real sharp, and I'm gonna elongate his uh, fingers too. Um, I'm just getting rid of some of the back, the background. 
Okay, so like right here, there's these tar stars right there too close. This one's got a tail on it. There's more of that paint scrub. It's just wherever, you know, because this is right photographed right from my painting. So I can go in here and clean it up. So go in here and look at it, every star and where they're located. Okay, so here's the one that was close to his leg. I didn't want it touching his leg because it looked like a wart. Dee Dee, the color wheel there should be an eyedropper and you can pick up the background color and make sure it's exact. Yeah, I do that with the airbrush tool. The airbrush tool picks up the color, but yeah, you're right about the eyedropper. It's, but it's not, I'm not sure what it's called. See, I have the paintbrush, the airbrush, the eraser, but then in those tools, there's individual tools. Okay, so for instance, now, I want to, well, I still want to keep the, okay, let me see about the colors. Let me go here for the colors. Yeah, so I'm not seeing, that's the values. I'm not seeing a dropper tool like on the wheel here anywhere. I'm not sure if I, because when I use the airbrush tool, it just picks it up. Do you know what I mean, Vern? But I don't want to use that yet. Hang on. Oh, I'm sure there's lots I can learn here, Jean. <laughs> Garbage floating in space. All right, so now I'm going to come in here close up with the fingers. Oh, let me check my... Um, line. I want it tiny because I want to bring his fingers out just a little because I cut his nails down a little. Let me just bring his fingers out just a little. <coughs> little like put his little nails back, you know. And then this one I need to bring a little. I'll show you my airbrush, what I mean, Jean. Well, you probably know. You can need that one a little more bent. I'm just kind of putting his toenails back on. This needs to be a little more shaped. Yeah, I'm. there probably is all these things you're talking about, Jean. I just don't really, you know, I haven't played, I don't play with this that much, and I haven't played with it in a long time till I did the uh, goldfish, I mean the koi fish. So I haven't really played with it a lot lately. I need to go back and refresh, but I'll show you what I mean. And, and I'm sure it's there somewhere. All right, now I'm going to go to the airbrush tool, and I want to... And you can change every line, too. Um, let's see. It can change the stroke, the shape, the grain, the, the dynamics. This is just the general. You know, there's all kinds of other tools in here that I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the stamping. Um, let's see. Do I have? Let me see here. Well, let me just do this for a minute because I want to. Okay, so here's all your different uh, brushes. Soft brush. And once you click on what say right now I have the hard airbrush. Let's go to a medium airbrush. But there's all kinds of thicknesses and the, all these different weights. And then when I click that, I can also change that. See? So there's, there's just multiple things you can do. But I want it kind of small. Because I want to, all right, so let's just say right here, I don't know how well you can see. See that blue there? I'm going to, I want to kind of feather that out. Do I have it too small? Maybe I have it too small. I'm not sure. See that I can do sketching, inking, painting, airbrushing my textures. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. So here's some of the brushes I made. Okay, so for instance, this one. Um, let's try this one. All right, let's see if I can show that. Okay, now let's go back here. All right, so I'm going to show you this. I think this was my water, my water waves. 
Come on, do it. Where are you? Do I need the opacity? There we go. Oh no, what did I do? Go back. Undo. 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 I messed up my I messed up my head there. Okay. <laughs> I was trying see, I told you I'm out of practice. I wanted to put a brush up here, but it's not letting me do something. I got something wrong. Okay, so let's just go back to my airbrush. But these are all I can stamp these. I can stamp those on there when you know what you're doing. <laughs> He's missing a finger on one hand. It's a little tucked behind. <laughs> okay, let me go back to um, painting. Do I want a slim brush? Do I want... Okay, we'll go with the round brush. We'll go with the round brush. We'll make it a little littler. And I think I got the opacity... Let me do a test. Let's do a test on, okay, let's do a test over here on this star. There we go. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but watch how it feathers out, like it airbrushes it. Undo is your name. Who are you testing? Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glow, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of the airbrush. I'm going to go to the back to the pen tool. And then I want to put my star shine over the top of that. I don't want to, uh, that's where his umbilical cord is. Okay, that one's too dark. That one's, see, I still got it too thick. Let's bring the line weight down. Okay, so. And you, you can have rulers and stuff in here too. I want it right over the top of that airbrush. See? That one's too crooked. I need to turn it here. There we go. See? So I put a little airbrush feathering behind and then I put my star shine back over the top. Oh, okay, Susan. <laughs> so let's go back up here and let's check, make sure all my little hairs are, because I kind of did something with my opacity a minute ago. But on the koi fish itself, I didn't change anything. I didn't really do a lot. But let's go back to airbrushing. Let's see if I can do a little something here. Um, let's see. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm touching the blue. Okay. And I'm touching the blue and drag. The blue is dragging into the white. I don't even know if you can see that. So it's whatever color I'm touching, like right here on this red. It's feathering it out. Can y'all even tell I did anything? Did you with Dee Dee? Yeah, I need to put that in a new thing. Okay, so right here, this is a little pencil-y. I don't know if y'all can tell. So I'm going to touch some of the purple and kind of feather it in. So it's kind of airbrushes. But I don't want to do this too much because I like my pencil lines. Know what I mean, Vern? I like the pencil. But can y'all see how that's airbrushing it out? So I can just smooth out anything. I'm just barely touching any color and it'll pick up that color and feather it out. Oh, I need black right in there. That's behind him. That's not part of his body. So let's kind of feather this out and then let's go back to, well, let me finish this. I, I want black in between there and I got to fix that black right there. Are y'all able to see that working? Let's go down here on his foot where that blue is. And I can pick up any color and add it as well. Like, let's say I want more blue. Um, I should be able to touch the 
how did I do that before? I'm going to pick the color. Like It's like the pick tool, Jean. Uh, am I going to have to just guess? <laughs> Let's pick a blue. Because <laughs> I know I can touch something and it'll pick that color. But what I want to do right now is just take... I want to pick up a little bit of that blue. I got it too gray. Because I should be able to pick that color. You know, Jean? Okay, so I'm going to go with this. Yes, I'm going to put black under the arm. All right, so I'm going to go with that, and I'm going to just put some blue down. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of blue. Okay? just going to put some blue there. That's not the right blue. Let me undo that. It's not the right blue. I need it less. I need it a little bit more um, purple. Or a little darker. Let's try that. Okay, let's see if that's... Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, all right, I'm going to work with it. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of blue down, just the, a little bit of blue color. Now I'm going to go to the airbrush tool, and I'm going to, now I can pick that blue up and move it around. See? See, I'm blending that blue in. Could y'all see that? Let's try it somewhere else. Okay, that's a little bit of purple. All right, here's a little bit more blue. I mean, that didn't get too, it doesn't, eh, it needs to be a little more purple. Let's go, um, let's go to the purple over here. How purple do I want it? Maybe about that. Okay, let's test that. So I'm going to put a little purple there, a little purple here, a little more purple on the leg. Okay, so I just add a little bit of purple, purple, like painted some purple. Now I'm going to go to the airbrush tool, and I'm going to feather that out. Can you all see how that feathered in? Go down here on his leg. Could y'all see that? All right, now I need to go back. I gotta fix some stars and some streaks and stuff that I did by touching. If you touch it with your finger, all right. Now let me go back to black, and that needs to be white and white and black. Make sure I got black there. Yeah, I get black. Because I want to get right in here. And I smeared right here. What I was going to say is your finger is finger sensitive too. So like, look, I'll take my finger and I'll go, uh-oh. So you have to be careful when you pinch and grab. I can pinch and grab and put black marks on there if I'm not careful. That's better. <clears throat> so again, if there's anything here that's streaked or you know has a little excess paint from my paintbrush, my literal paintbrush from the photograph, so I can go in here and do that. Okay. Um, what else do I want to fix on here? Just whatever. I can go ahead and let's go back with white. And I want to go to the airbrush. And let's see how I got that. Okay, no, I need airbrush. Okay, so I'm going to smooth out some stars. And then I can... No, it's not working on the touch. It should touch. Anyway. Oh, wrong one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want that. I want light. Okay, there we go. Now I just need to... F All right, let me make the airbrush line thicker and I should be able to well why isn't it working should work hmm well anyway I'm touching the stars and fuzzing them out let's see if I can show you one here okay so there see that star I'm going to touch it see how it fuzzed it out just a little 
Can you see? It just made it a little fuzzy. So the star is a little softer. See? That one showed up pretty good. And again, I, you know, I could practice and learn more of each tool. But I just don't spend the time. I hope that shows up. Bye, Terry. Thank you. You decided you don't like the umbilical cord? Does he have a name yet? No. <laughs> you don't like the umbilical cord? I don't know. Maybe I should do one with and one without. Anyway. So I'm just kind of going in here and tweaking my stars. And then I can also just go in here with the pen tool. can make it a nice big dot. And then I should be able to, yeah, there we go. See? All right. Well, I can't be moving it around too much. Let's see. Let's put one right here. All right, ready? Wait for it. See? Just drop in a star. That's kind of big, but yeah, that's okay. So I can just go around and find any place I want to drop in a star. And you can change the thickness of it too so it's not too, they're not too, uh, not all the same. Fuzzy the umbilical cord up a little, <clears throat> you think? All right, let's see. Can try. I'll make it thicker. kind of putting a little bit it's almost like a little bit of a shadow around it maybe a little softer right there I don't know if y'all can tell a difference I can see it I can tell there's a softness to it Anything else? Detail his belly button. What do y'all want it just a little more, a little darker in there? All right, hang on. It's a little purple. Okay. Let's put a little, oh, nope, nope, didn't take the purple. I need the purple. There we go. Not quite that dark. Find a lighter. Okay. Oh. Come on. That should do it. Let's see. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put a little purple in there. And then I'll go back to my airbrush. Feather it out a little. Is that better? <laughs> uh, make it a little thicker next to his belly button? You mean airbrushing it a little thicker? All right, let me go back to white here.
Oh, gotta get on the airbrush. Is that better? <laughs> okay, I now I need to make sure he has... I think I want his little fingernails to have more blue to them. Although, let me fix his leg right here. Give me his foot right there a little. Feather that out a little. Let's make all his feet a little neater. See his hands. So this is y'all think he needs another hand, finger right there. It's gonna. I it, you gotta look at the location, guys. I have to be a little careful here. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? It's kind of like where his hand's situated. <laughs> we gotta be a little careful. All right, let's see. Let's blend that out. Do a little blend there. What do y'all think? <laughs> Make it look like it's tugging a bit. <laughs> He's floating, people. He's out floating. All right, now I got. I do need to fix a little bit of his this foot right here. Needs a little smoothing. So let me smooth it out, and then I'll go with the black. Let's see. I need to sharpen. I think. It's a little more color in his feet. Let me go back with a little pink. How pink do I want it? Hmm. No, too red, too pink. It's too purple. I need to go this way. There. Come on, change. Ugh. Um, trying to find an exact pink I want. I'm not fine. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, I just touched the wrong button. Eee. Got to get used to it. Okay. Now. <laughs> just saying, should the umbilical cord be smaller? Everybody. Oh, I see the perspective. Yeah, get make it smaller as it goes away. Yeah, it probably, probably should. Well, yes, it should, but yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of pink, I mean this pink, in his feet. And I'm going to go airbrush it in. And I think I can do it all in one step if I was thinking about it. So I just want a little bit more pink in his hands there. All right, now I'm going to go the airbrush. And let's see what... About there. Now I'm going to smooth that out. I just want to add a little bit more color to his fingers. His fingers got a little washed out. And if you're watching this on the recording and you're all are laughing at me, if you're a digi artist, going, oh my gosh, that girl's just, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. You're right, I don't. <laughs> I told y'all that at the get-go. It's just a little bit of uh, trial and error. Anything I've learned on this, I just taught myself by playing around with it. I just played around with it until I figured out what I was doing. So, let's see. I think I need to airbrush out maybe a little bit. And it's going to have to be really tiny. Let's go to white. Oops, come on. I need to airbrush, I mean, add a little bit more um, airbrush to the star glow. It's a little harsh. 
Oh, thanks, Susan. I just just play. That's how you got to learn things sometimes. You don't got anybody to help you. You just go for it. There's more tools to this thing than you can believe. And I've used some of them, but it's been so long. I just don't remember them. You know, I just don't remember all the everything I've learned on it. Because I don't use it enough. Let's see if I can make the umbilical cord just a little smaller. Up here. Make everybody happy. Let's get rid of some of this. So did y'all think this was interesting? Did y'all like seeing this? Nobody's laughing. I'm doing great. Thanks, Jean. You guys aren't laughing. I'm saying people watching this, like watching the recording, they're going to, you know, real digi artists. I'm not a real digi artist. Trust me, guys. Eileen might even be laughing at me. I'm telling you. <laughs> No, she would never tell me. She wouldn't tell me she was laughing at me. <laughs> but she might be. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, let's get rid of a little of that. <laughs> Sharpen and crisping. And... All right, let's see. It might need one or two I think it needs a pink star. And we'll airbrush. We'll put in a, a pink, a couple of pink. Let's put let's put some color down first. Let's put a couple of dots of color. We'll do three purple ones. Okay, so I just put some color on there. Now I'm going to take my airbrush tool and, and feather that out. Whoops, wrong. Let's get a little thicker. No, no, I want that. I do want that. I want that. Airbrush. And all the opacity settings over here on the side, there's there's just so much. There really is a lot I could be doing if I knew what I was doing. Needs a bit more chest. He's skinny. You want me to put a little more? I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. Uh oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. Let's go back. You got to make sure you're not t you have the airbrush tool versus the pen tool, because the pen tool will make a mark. The airbrush will pick up color and and feather it. So you got to be careful, you know. But you got your little arrows right, the little arrows right here next to me, and so you can always just touch it and go back. Okay. All right, I think I'm liking him. I don't know. He might need more toenails. Let's see if I can put a little bit more. Do I want any more blue in his eyes? 
I think that's pretty good. I mean, you got to remember, the pig, it's going to end up being this big, guys. <laughs> I learned some things today. So, oh, you're welcome. I'm glad, Tris. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to save it. So I'm going to go put in my tools. Let's see. Share artwork. Um, I'm going to make it a JPG so for now so I can, and I, all right, so that should do it. Now it'll go to my gallery. I could name it if I want, but go to the gallery, go on to the gallery now, go. Okay. So now let me go over to my photos and he'll be in my camera roll here or my photo roll. Let's see. Oh, I accidentally saved him. No, I didn't save him twice. I think I just saved him once. Okay, so here he is complete. Okay. And I'll mail him to my, you know, so I can print him out later for a test. Uh, let's see now. And then I'll fix my, hang on, I'll fix my camera. I'm still using my pen tool. I can use my finger. Okay, and so final test. I wanted to send them to my printer so I can print them out later. Okay, so there we go. Now let me adjust my lighting again. Hang on, guys. Back out. <clears throat> okay now I can take my uh, what did you oh great oh thanks guys now I can take my uh, board off the window because I had to make it dark for the thing to show up <laughs> This is what we started with. We started with him. Um, ay, 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 ay. The lighting, the lighting. So we started with him. Well, actually, we started with just a sketch. We started with a sketch. Then we painted and paint, you know, and pencil made him. Then I cut him out. Then we laid him on the solar system. <laughs> we put him on here, took a picture of him. Then I sent him to my iPad and then went into Procreate. Oh, and y'all wanted to see what the Procreate logo looked like. Hang on. This is what it looks like, right? Uh. That's what it looks like right there. It's a little swirl. And now, I haven't updated, so it may have changed. To tell you the truth, the Procreate logo may have changed because I haven't updated anything. Okay, so then we photographed him on here, put him in Procreate, and y'all saw the rest. Now, I have to print them out. So we did the same thing, see, with my, my koi fish. I put them on here, and see how, how blunt, how blunt, where I cut the, cut him out, how blunt his fins are. Well, that's where I went in. Let's see if you can see it better on here, on the photo. Here's a photo I printed out. See how I feathered out his fins? Can y'all see the difference here? See how I feathered out the fins so they're not blunt? I did that in Procreate. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. And then I also printed, I also photographed him on other backgrounds. It's not quite that 
colorful. <laughs> it's a little bright there. For, I think the sun's hit my paper, but. So, well, Colleen, if you weren't here to see me doing the, doing him in, uh, on my, uh, Procreate. So, see, you, then you can just move them around, you know. You can photograph your, you know, and then go in and tweak it. Like, see all those hairs? Now, I don't know if I can show you again now. Let's see. Let's go to my photos. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I don't know if it'll it'll do it without light. All right. See how I had to cut the little hairs off of his antlers or his antenna or whatever they're called? <laughs> his horns. But I put them back on. Mm -hmm. See how I put the hairs back? Oh, I can't get the color to show again. But I put the little hairs back on. I'll try to do a printout of him, too, so you can see him printed out. <laughs> uh, okay, so you did get to see it, though. Okay, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. Let me just leave them here so they stay nice and safe. So that's what I'm doing with all these other ones. So I've only got them sketched out, right? So you saw me finish this that one. So I'm, I'm going to do a peacock feather. I'm, and I wrote puffin here because Jean, I think it was, wanted me to do a puffin. Um, so I just made a note. And these are going to be ladybugs, a blue parakeet. And remember, these are just those sketches with a little bit of a wash on them. This one didn't even have a wash on it. Octopus, a bee. This is going to be the koala. Uh, oh, no, it was a koala. Somebody else asked for a puffin. Uh, Jean asked for a koala. Okay. A panda, a weasel, a cobra, a giraffe, a penguin, a meerkat, of course the emu, <laughs> a pug, a snow owl, a flamingo, don't look Eileen, a lizard, no, just a generic lizard, a jellyfish, an otter on his back, a lemur, a bunny, and a kangaroo. Those are the ones I have planned out. And they'll go from my little sketch here to these pencil sketches, these pencils, and then they'll make their way to space, and they'll make their way on other backgrounds too. Well, not that one. I mean plain backgrounds, right? And uh, and these these aren't the only backgrounds. Y'all know how many backgrounds we all have, right? Oh, a monkey. Oh, uh oh, I got busted. <laughs> Busted! Janet busted me out on a monkey. Let me find some place to write it on here. Uh, here's a ladybug and the puffin. Let me write on here. A monkey. You know what? I think I'll take five minutes because it's I've been on for two hours and fifteen minutes. I have enough time to quickly sketch out a monkey for for Janet. Now it's not going to be a sock monkey. It's not going to be a sock monkey. Let me find out. Do I want to sketch it with this color? I think that's the color I've been sketching them all out on. <laughs> and so, and uh, so anyway, I'm just I just kind of did, did a little line here. I'm doing two to a page. Let me move the sketchbook and make me a little room. What kind of monkey do we want, uh, Janet? Do we have a particular kind of monkey? <laughs> oh, you like the little axle? What is it called again? Um, hang on. A, a axolotti? Axolotti? Somebody pronounced it for me last last week. We'll just do a quick. And I'm, I'm when I say quick sketch, I mean this is quick. <laughs> a cute one. Oh my gosh. Um, it, I don't know if I want a spider monkey because spider monkeys kind of look like, you know, a lemur type thing. Um, let me just kind of look here. And I kind of want a full body, not just a head. Do we want a baby monkey? Let me, let me just do a little search here. Hang on. Let me find some different kinds, because there's so many different kinds. A baby monkey. Like the organ monkeys, organ grinder monkeys, that kind. Oh, 
don't know. All the little babies are might be a little too. Mm, no, I'm not loving the baby monkeys. Let me put in spider monkey because they're long and skinny. But I, again, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I want to um, do something that looks as much like a, you know, skinny lemur or something. Because I got my lemur and other things a chimpanzee yeah chimpanzees are fat though see i want remember i'm trying to do things that'll fit in a long skinny cell phone case <laughs> um spider monkeys are kind of cute let's see maybe we could have a spider monkey hanging by its tail Hmm. Let me find. Let me do a. Let me find a little face first. Let's draw a little face, and we'll do his body. We'll do them separate. So there's a face. I kind of like that one's kind of cute. And then let's see if I can find one hanging by its tail. Kind of long ways. Hmm. They're really long. Let's see. I don't know, because <laughs> you probably can't see here. Let me zoom in one. Okay, now let's fix the lighting a little. Maybe, maybe, because pandas are so scared. <laughs> true but my panda I don't know you're right I guess I could do a full body but you see how skinny these are like a you know an otter on his back a jellyfish I mean they're all skinny things <laughs> the pug is a little chunky <laughs> yeah because that's a good one yeah that's a good one Zelly Zelly because <laughs> of panda and I did kind of make him a little thin. I mean, seriously, he could be a little fatter. Right? He could be a little chunkier. Let's admit it. I do need to make him a little chunkier. His arm can be a little fatter. His body could be a little fatter. Right? He could be a little chunkier. <laughs> okay, listen. Because I don't know. Because the thing about if I put his full body body okay if I put a full monkey body in here like him hanging like here's you know look he's his little head's gonna be like the size of a dime that's not gonna work I can't do a hanging monkey <laughs> because he'll be too his face won't show so I'm not sure how much we can get in on a um A little face hmm let me let me try again we can't really do hang on I'm researching <laughs> you have to do that monkey a pro probiscuous monkey is that like promiscuous <laughs> No, I know. It's one of the big noses, right? One of the big nose ones. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but again, guys, you got to remember, um, you know, um, this is a, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to do, fill in a cell phone case. <laughs> There's a purpose to all this. <laughs> I can't go on there and look at it. Yeah, um, no, I didn't do a sloth. I did a lemur. Now, I do like those red face monkeys. What are they called? They're a spider monkey, too. You know, these kind here. Let me just do, I'll just do the sketch of a face. They're, they're red fur, you know?
you know, these, I don't have the fur on here yet, but hang on. They have white, they have white fur all around their face. <clears throat> they have an ear, their ears over here on the other side of the, and then, then they're, they're like red panda fur color, all the rest of it. Um, hang on, let me. It's almost empty. Oh, I didn't dip. <clears throat> can blame Janet for me starting this. She mentioned doing the monkey here. <laughs> Squirrel monkey, is that the one I'm thinking of? Maybe. I don't know all their names. See, now, can y'all imagine playing with all this fur in Procreate? We'd have fun with this. We'd have fun with this fur. <laughs> uh, but see, this is the this is what I like to do. I like the painting. I like the I like the penciling. You know, I mean, it's it's fun to play in Procreate and all those. But I this is I like doing much more, right? Black's almost empty too. Oops, let me get a little smaller brush. All right. All right, let's see. Let's just mix up a little wash here. So I'm going to put a little paint, a little wash here. I'm going to do a little pencil. Spend about five minutes on this monkey. I don't know if anybody else is streaming today. Have y'all talked Janet into streaming today? This is the Golden Lion ta Tamarin. Let me write that down, Jean. The Golden Lion Golden Lion Tamarin. Tamarin. Okay. I mean, he's going to look cute. I mean, I know I like him, but he, but 
I don't know if I just want a monkey's head, you know? I need some water. So I'm going to wash. Don't want this solid yet. We'll put his little eyeballs in. I mean, because he'll look cute, but he's not going to be a cell phone case. Oh, you think this one's a Japanese macaw? Macay? Put a cap in a vest on. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> so bad. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. What's you girls? All right. Now let me uh let me uh dry him and add a little pencil. <laughs> oh wait. I was gonna put a little fur around his head too. Okay. I'm just going to play with them for a couple minutes. All right, let's get some pencils over here. <clears throat> Let's see. There's a light. Blue. Sienna. Where'd my there's a sienna. I need a brown. ASMR moment. I think that's red. Yeah, it's Tuscan red and brown. I know there's a brown in here somewhere. Well, let me just dig out my... Oh, here we go. I think it's that. No, no. All right, let me get a bundle. Let me get a, a brown bundle here. on a wall in his finger. <laughs> it's just the base. Hey, Paula. Um, it's just the base. See. Let's give him a little life here. in my life. <clears throat> Did you see my axle tall, Paula? <laughs> we did a little digi today. Where's my black? 
I guess I won't get far with this one. That one needs to move to the side. Where's my black pencil? I know I had one here. I put it away. We'll just do his little eyes, maybe his little nose. Because y'all know I spent about 30 minutes on the Axital, or whatever it's called. <laughs> now, this is not my final decision on the monkey. I'm just playing here. <laughs> Trust me, I, have, I, I can fill a sketchbook up pretty quick with stuff. That might just be an idea, and it may not, you know, see the light of day, but. Do we talk Janet into streaming? Anybody? He looks mean. <laughs> Do you want me to put a little tear in his eye? <laughs> fun doing the, the little uh, little um, digi demo that was kind of fun I'm still waiting to hear on the Jean's going to entertain us. Okay, good. I have to go put the groceries away first. Hubster said, I said, just put the stuff in the refrigerator away. I'll put everything else away. You see how far I got on that? How far? We're still here. So anyway, I had fun, though, just doing a little bit of show and tell on the on the cell phone cases So anyway, <laughs> there's a quick little sketch, a little monkey. So again, it, it, they have the cute little faces, but for them to be take up a whole um, take up a whole cell phone um, case back, you know, I, I don't see that really happening. I don't know. I'd have to just just kind of play with that idea. Now he looks scared. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'll head out. I'll go put my groceries away and grab me a sandwich or something and then head over to Jean's. Maybe we just need to make him smile more. Can we do that? I don't think that's going to work.
Okay, so there's our little friend for the day. <laughs> one at one. Oh, okay. So that's what time is that here? Two, Jean? I'm gonna stream till two. That's two Eastern, isn't it? Or one? Yeah, because you're like even you're past Eastern side time. You're on the other side of the world. <laughs> An iPad case? Yeah, I guess the I I could do some faces. That's a good idea. I'll put him down for an iPad case. Because <laughs> the other, the cell phones, you know, they just need to be long and thin, right? They just need to be. So, again, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Here's one of my little samples for the koi fish. And I um, hope you all enjoyed it. It was fun. It was fun. You're welcome. We'll have to do that again. Because I enjoyed it. Once we got the lighting situation, you know, so that it would grab the uh, iPad. So, okay, guys. We'll talk to you later. We'll see you at Jeans. Two, one Eastern, two for you. Okay, two. Okay. All right, guys. That gives me time to put the groceries away <laughs> and eat. Bye, guys.